Another nice option with Typeform is to put background images into your forms. Now, Typeform gives you a few options for doing this. Let's take a look at this. I simply copied my last form, fonts, and called it TF0153 background images. I've got my screen in full screens here so you don't see the menus. Let's first take a look again at what it currently looks like. I'm going to come to view my type form. And there you see we have the black on the white, which actually is consistent with the look and feel I tried to get for Data Lab. But you can change it to something else if you want. So I'm going to close this. Let's come up to design. And let's select this third option on the left, a background image. So it's showing us what it's currently like. I'm going to hit background image. And then we can upload an image and put it in there. Now, the thing you need to know is you have a fair amount of flexibility. Of particular note, you can put PNG files with transparent backgrounds, which can be nice as long as you set the background color. And you can even use an animated GIF, although truthfully, I think that would be really confusing and I personally would never do it, but you know, it, it's up to you. It certainly gets people's attention. So you can use whatever kind of image you want. Now the trick is it's limited in size. It can be no more than two megabytes and in pixels, 1680 by 1050. So I'm just going to upload an image here. And I have one that I used earlier and I reduced it to 1680 by 1050. And if you have a high density image or if it's still, you know, pretty big in terms of megabytes, you may want to use an image compression utility like tinypng.com or kraken with a k.io to reduce it. So, I've got my image here and you know, it's nice, but it's the lines here are a little overwhelming. It makes it a little hard to read some of the text. So, what you can do is come over and adjust the brightness. I'm going to make it brighter. And you see that sort of fades it out. I want to get enough so you can tell what the image is that it's these lines in the background. But that it's easy to read the type. Now you have a few options when you're doing the image, you can either not repeat the image. And that is if you have like a single picture, and you want it sort of centered, you can repeat it. That is, you can tile it horizontally and vertically, have it repeat a lot. Or you can do full screen, which stretches it out. That's what I'm using right here. It's the default. The thing you need to know, however, is if you have an image that you want centered, it won't always be the center because the proportions are going to change dramatically depending on what kind of device you're looking on. So you want to pick something that's really neutral and it's okay to look at any part of it. The last thing I need to do is come down here and click apply to type form. Because right now it's just a little preview. And when that's done, I'll come up here to view my type form so we can see the whole thing full screen. And there it is, there's my new background and it shows up on every page. And I can go on like that. And so this can be a nice way to add a little bit of personality, a little bit of interest, but do exercise caution, don't get something that's going to make it hard to read your form or that overwhelms your entire message.